Got it. I don't think I've defeated this one before. So that's good to know. And, and this one chased me down on my way to a Quark seat. So we'll do good number one. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we found this shrine. And we sand seal surfed our way, try saying that five times fast, to one of the three shrines and trials of Gerudo. We also defeated every single Mulduga in the game, getting our Medal of Honor Mulduga from Kilton at Kilton's shop. It doesn't do anything, but it's there. <laughs> and this time, we are hot on the trail of this shrine. And I believe, actually I know, that it is right there. I mean, how could it be anything else? It's definitely South Lome Shrine. So we're gliding down there right now, getting that second to last shrine, and then we're going over to the, oh, what are they called? The Yiga Clan hideout uh, to go to, the, hopefully, the bottom of the pit that, uh, that Koga fell down. And I believe that there's a shrine there. Which will be pretty cool, because I did think, I did suspect that there was something down there, but I wasn't able to go down there at the time because DLC Pack 2 had, didn't exist, but now it does, and there should be something at the bottom. Oh, it's Tracy! Hi, Tracy! <gasps> hmm? What is this? Could it be? Are you that pretty gal I saw in Gerudo G Town? I'm right, aren't I? Don't try to hide it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you wear, those eyes see all. Or these eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday, after all. It looks like Link is blushing, but it's actually the fire. Ooh, I see, I see. It's only because women can enter Gerudo Town. Clever boy. <laughs> Clever girl. That's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. You, cr you probably guessed as much, but I'm tra tracking down some juicy gossip. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor and let you in on a rumor I haven't even published yet. Just when, just when you thought you could relax, th when the Divine Beast had settled and the lightning had stopped. <gasps> Boom! A mysterious Molduga shows up. How's that for a scoop? Apparently the Gerudo soldiers tried fighting it, but normal swords don't even ah. make a dent. I wonder what weapon would work against something like that. A new Molduga. Uh, we better kill this thing quick, because if Kilton <laughs> smells this, because, you know, he smells stuff... This could mean we lose our Medal of Honor. There's the Mulduga. Now, is this one special? Uh, let's look at our adventure log. This one is... Fight the Brute of the Sand. So, it doesn't say whether or not... Oh, Muldu... Muldu King? <laughs> is this Mewtwo King's brother? His younger bro brother slash cousin? No one really knows. He doesn't rock forward and backward in his chair. He rocks from side to side. <laughs> and he plays Roy in melee. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Hello, Moldu King. Would Mewtwo King be happy with you? I don't think he would. I missed. Oh, and now my thing's down. Can I shield bash you? Come on. Can I shield bash you? Come on. Yeah, hit me with your best shot. Ah, oh, my timing's bad. Man, this guy this guy looks a little bit different, I think. He has blue on, on him, which is not normal. Okay, come on. I really want to try shield bashing this guy. Come on. You can hear me. Yeah, I'm right here. Ah, man. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Just one more. And then I'm going to actually kill him properly. Come on, buddy. You do it. I want to shield bash you. Get over here. Yes, that is me. You keep forgetting. You're bad, Moldu King. No, nope, okay. Cannot. My timing was good, so it, it wasn't... That wasn't the problem. Oh, I missed. Actually, I don't think I missed. I just don't think it has a hurt box. Uh, oh. Stand still. Throw this. Throw this. Yeah, go, go. Get the bomb. Go get the bomb. Go get the bomb. You go get the bomb. 
go get the bomb. Come on. Come on, you, you big lummox. I'm not sure if that's a good word. Go get the bomb. Yeah, go get the bomb. And now, I stasis you. Oh, look at, oh, he, he's so majestic. You're, you're pretty. Uh, or Bosa's Fury. And he even has weapons in it. That's kind of cool. Come on, Urbosa. There's some damage. The first one didn't connect for some reason. Whoa! I can sh I can do that too. And by that, I mean I I can shoot you. Not I can actually swing my tail and launch you 200 meters. That's that's ridiculous. Why did I default to meters? I'm not sure why I defaulted to meters there. That was weird. Okay, uh, I need the bomb. Oh, oh, he, oh, he's there. Oh, uh, sure. I'll take some free hits. I can't see him anymore. Where is he? I don't, oh, he's up, he's up. Oh, get over here. And by that, I mean, uh, deal some damage. Stasis. Ah! Use Revali's bow! Or the Eagle bow, I believe it's called. Uh, does lightning do anything special? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lightning does a lot more. Okay. Yeah, lightning will kill him. Well, I probably should have used lightning first. This guy's pretty. I probably should have taken a picture. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no, I need to take a picture of this dude. I mean, it's not its not that important that I do, but I think I do because he's unique. I'm gonna have to reload a save, aren't I? Yeah, ah, oh, that stinks. I'm not trying to go for 100%, but the fact that, that I could have just missed out on a unique opportunity means I, mm, I, I, I wanna try that again. <laughs> Moldu King, look at him. Look at the beauty of Moldu King. And I was right. I'm actually gonna get a bit of a picture. Look at the beauty of Moldu King! Told ya. Told you he was unique. Moldu King, the imposter, has been slain. Long live the king. <laughs> There's our shrine. That was a whole lot of effort to just get a picture. I had to reload the save, and it wasn't just the save right before I began the episode. It was the save right before I talked to Kilton last episode. So I had to talk to Kilton again. Then I came back here and talked to Tracy again, just to make sure that I did everything the same. And then I fought Moldu King. Golden Bow is garbage. You are garbage. But I'm taking you, apparently. And you are more garbage? Uh, Radiant Shield. Okay, shields are fine. I'll take shields. Uh, this one looks better than that one, and it is also better, so I'll take it. And, because when you're in Rome, you should do as the Romans do. I'm, I'm gonna put it on, because it, it looks great. I like how these shields look. Um, I would put, I would probably put the Gerudo and Zora on near the same spot in terms of how their their stuff looks. It's all very cultural and it has a great theme. Hey you, I saw everything. This is why I talked to her the first time. I can't believe you were able to defeat that weird Molduga. I'm speechless. Me. Okay, not really. But this has scoop written all over it. Mind if I write to tell all about you? Sure, I'm like the hero of everything. I see, how unfortunate. You would have to be swimming in female uh, you would have been swimming in female attention and adoring fans, you know. I mean it. You're that impressive. Well, that's your decision. To mess up. 
I'll just have to dig around Gerudo Town for uh, way more interesting scoops. Uh. And is that it? Yeah. Well, I would have been fine with you writing up about me, but apparently Link is, does not. Link does not want to, you to write up on him. So, whatever. Kiev Tala Shrine. Big or small? I prefer big. Okay. Oh, we should probably put on our rubber gear. We used that last episode to avoid being electrocuted, and as I said then, you don't really get to see electric gear that often, so it's it's nice to be able to find an excuse to use it. Okay, so this... Hmm. There's this giant ball. This, this is a weird one. I guess we can... This is weird, but we can lift this up and drape it over that, and that establishes a connection. And I don't think we can do the same with this... I can try to stretch this out. No, that's as far as it goes. I, I, I wouldn't suspect that we have to do it. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't suspect that we have to do it manually. That's kind of absurd. That's a connection. Good. And the name of the shrine comes from the fact that we have to use different sized objects. That, that platform looks like it might move. Shouldn't that be lit? Oh, no, we have to shoot that one. Oh, well, hunky-dory. Uh, neat. I think we were supposed to use a block for that, but that works. And then I did this one correctly, and that brings that over there. And do we get any other... Oh, we have an apparatus. Oh, we have an apparatus to get the chest. Well, let me concern myself with that in a moment. Because we still have... We still have the issue of there being one block that we have not done anything with. And also that. Which I'm not exactly sure how to how to deal with that. Uh, it looks like we need one of the, like, the double ball and chains, but I'm not sure on this one. Uh, you know what? The only, the only available thing for us to do is the apparatus, so we'll do that. Oh, we get to shoot a laser! What? It oh, I see, I see. I was gonna say, well, this is like the easiest thing in the world. We just have to shoot them all, but no. We're trying to establish another connection. This episode would be called E-Harmony. Actually, it's probably gonna be called Moldu Gang, because cause that, was, that was too good. Waiting for this one to come back. No. There. Wait for this one to come around. That, I think, is close enough. This is so sluggish. Got it? No. Okay, that should be good enough. We shoot that. Connect. Okay, that... Hmm. Yeah, this one's weird. Unless, do we need this box? Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Here's my thought. We get these two balls, which makes me think that we actually need them for something. Like, if I pull this over here, that connects. Okay. I think this ball is supposed to go here. Because they wouldn't make us shoot that. So we put that ball there. Or that thing there. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. I totally see. We can set the height on this. Got it. Okay. Now we lower this gently. Remove this. I think... Yeah, we can use the small block. We don't need the big one here. We place the small block there. And no, uh, they're not... Oh, they are. 
They totally are. They're asking us to balance this. That's... Mm. No way. No, they're not asking me to do that. Okay, I guess that's right. And that's correct. I... So far, I'm seeing everything I'm doing is correct, except I'm missing the point of this. The only thing I can think of is maybe we have to stack the, the boxes, but that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, I got it. I got it. I've, been, I've spent way too much time on this. Done. Oh, my goodness. I'm bad at life. Up. Uh, I'm going to knock it off accidentally. But bring that over here. Set it down. Oh, my goodness. I'm dense. I'm so dense. Not as dense as that animation was just now. I, I hope you caught that. Oh, and then push this. Done. My word, I'm dead. I'm like, but there's water. How, how do I don't have block? <sighs> Forgive me. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't have to look it up. I, I figured it out. I looked at it. I was like, if only there was a way for me to raise it up. And then so, no sooner did I say raise and up, then I was like, I, I thought, oh, oh, pal, you're a doofus. You're an absolute doofus. So, okay. Got, I did it. And now, ugh, I didn't even get to talk through that. Like, I was so stumped. I'm a dumb. I am such a dumb. Okay, so we did it. Now we'll head over to the Yiga clan. My goodness, pal. You're a special kind of special, aren't you? And that is that. We've done the first shrine of the episode, and it took me like 20 minutes. Now, we'll warp over to... Uh, Lepo, Lepero, Lepero Mesa at Katakar Shrine, and we'll surf our way down here and uncover the final shrine of Gerudo. Now, I say uncover because I'm cutting these episodes a little bit short, uh, because in case you haven't noticed from the end slates, they're quite long. I, I got two entire areas completed I, I cleared out all of their Korok seeds, and that results in some longer than usual end slates. So, uh, I, I'm cutting the normal episodes a little bit shorter to accommodate that so it doesn't look like a giant episode on the tin. Do we get to go down there now? I think we do. Here, let me, let me look at the description. Throw the orb underground. Well... I think there's only one way to test this out, and it's just to jump, right? Not okay. Jumping was not the answer. So we need an orb, and we need to throw it under... Okay, this is the first orb I can think of. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Unfortunately, they didn't model down there, so we can't go down there. We need an orb. Orb. Oh, wait. Whoa. People? People. Not Yiga Clan? Mina. Hi, Mina. Hmm? Are you looking for treasure too? The Yiga Clan. They took one of the Gerudo tribe's treasures in there. A sacred orb. Dun dun dun. Or something. It looked like it could sell for a high price, so I followed them. But, well. Now I'm thinking I, I should probably back away while I still can. Wait, you don't think. They're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like the old legend says, right? Who knows? I mean, I am. Yeah. I hear the Yiga clan were taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet, there's still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas, too. Maybe they're still up to no good. I know one thing for sure. The orb they stole from the Gerudo tribe is in their second floor storage area. But getting there is too dangerous. <coughs> Excuse me. Too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. I think we've run into them before. They seem familiar. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in the Yiga clan. They still have bananas. We've been in this room before. I guess we can we can handle this one or two one of two ways. <coughs> we can handle this one of two ways. We can brute force our way 
Or... Where's my stealth gear? We can stealth it up. And I vote we stealth it up. There's a guy over there. Beautifully animated walking animations. Okay. He's gonna walk that way. I'm gonna fly up. Perfect. Oh boy. Oh boy. They don't see me. Man, now I'm a true ninja. Look at me. Look at me. I'm up here. I'm on the rooftop. That's so cool. Uh, now how do I get in is the, the question. Oh no. Oh boy. Backflip. Climb. Oh. Okay, I need to get up there somehow. Uh... Well, they don't see me. There's a ladder. I mean, I could wait for Revali's wind. Or... I got it. There's no guard there. He might see me if I do this, but we're gonna... We're gonna do our best. He doesn't see me? Oh, man. How did he not just look up there? There, okay. I'm up. I'm up. <sighs> Orb should be in here, along with all of the bananas. I just want to count to see how many bananas we get from this. 140. And now, we have 152. So 12 bananas. Now we have to get this orb out. Uh, You know what? You know what? I don't think it's that hard. I, I have a plan. I have a good plan. We drop it. Don't roll on me. Thank you. Uh, there. We just shoot it over there. I think that works. Oh, but he's gonna see it. Oh, he sees it. You stay away from my orb. Where did... Did I kill him? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I killed him. Rivali I killed him too. Now ready. Thanks, Rivali. You're a little bit late there. Well, I guess that works. So much for the stealthy approach when I have a stinking nuke. I just killed them dead. I just like sent them to. I, I guess I didn't kill them. I sent them to the shadow realm. <laughs> well, let's go get our our orb and then throw it down there. La di da di da. La di da. Hi guys. How are you? I have the orb. That orb, could it be? Is it the treasure of the Gerudo? That is so not fair. We found it first. La di do ba do. Oh. Hi. Did you really go in there and nab that orb? You stole it, yeah? You really did? Yikes, if they find out, they'll surely chase you down till the end of time. Well, they already do. I kind of killed their leader. Well, we did it. <laughs> and now we must make the sacrificial plunge. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I pressed. I pressed a ta uh, jump and accidentally hit attack. Oh, no. We're okay. I was trying to just sacrificial plunge. <laughs> Now, what happens here? Is this just a glitch, or... Did they think of this? Uh... Um... Questions? Questions? Did it? Did I... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Good. They, they kind of thought of that. They're like, what if the dude is stupid and he falls down with it? And they said, oh, that's not going to happen. They said, but what happens if that happens? And they say, well, I guess they can't complete the quest, so we should probably make a spawn point for it. I guess you're right. You're always right, Frank. This awkward. And that thing took a long time to fall down. And there is our final shrine for the episode, which we're not going in, because Korok Seeds. I, 
I got like 150 in one sitting. Yeah. Uh, or I guess it wasn't 150. It was like 80? I don't know. It was a lot. We're up to 620 now. And probably... Probably next time, because it'll be also a different recording session for me. I'll nab every Korok seed in the Gerudo Highlands, and then maybe the Tabantha region. And then I will truly have one-third of the map, 100%ed. <sighs> Man, the end is in sight. The end is getting closer and closer. I, I would say Korok seeds is the best uh, metric to see how close I am to completing the game. And when I have 620 of 900, you can tell. The, the end of the game is just right around the corner. Kihiro Mo Shrine, which we will go in next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, oh hey, if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity and would like to see my channel grow bigger, then uh, recommend my channel to some, some of your friends. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. You're throwing away treasure? You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you didn't want it, you could have just- I would have been happy to just take it off your hands. Mm. Ooh, you threw the, the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? Mm. Or I guess he said, oh. Yeah. It should be A-A-A-W. Well, I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of Breath of the Wild, where we head in that shrine, clear it out, and then go to Vomit Naburis to fight my favorite blight again and claim an upgraded Urbosa's Fury. See you guys then! Thank you.